Welcome everyone to the Saturday Evening Rant, and this week we got a special episode for you guys. If you weren't aware, we had the first presidential debate on Monday night. Well, technically this wasn't the first presidential debate because this shit has been going on for the past four years. Ever since Barack Obama took the throne four years ago, people have been debating and arguing and trying to figure out who will be the next president of the United States of America, and I have no doubt in the back of my mind that the second whoever is elected the next president, whether it be the giant douche or the turd sandwich, the following day will be a plethora of potential candidates for the next election, for the 2020 election. I mean, this is just ridiculous that we put ourselves this far out there and this far ahead of time, but that is a rant for a different day because this week we have to talk about the presidential debate. I personally sat there and watched the whole freaking thing, and guess what? I didn't watch it on a TV, I watched it live streaming on YouTube. That's right, because who needs to watch a presidential debate on TV when you can watch it anywhere with the power of the internet in your pocket. With that being said, let's talk about colors. So if you guys didn't notice, the two people debating, the giant douche and the turd sandwich, were wearing the opposite party's colors. I don't really understand that. Shouldn't, shouldn't Donald Trump be wearing red for Republicans and Hillary Clinton be wearing blue for... Democrats? Speaking of Hillary Clinton, I, I want to get a hold of whoever the fashion designer was that inspired and created her ensemble for that evening because she looked like a fucking lobster. Seriously, did anybody see this? Am I the only person that thought this? She looked like a lobster. She had a red top with a red skirt or red pants, whatever the hell it was. She looked like a lobster. Just throw some claws on her. Seriously, stick her in a pot with some boiling water and then serve her in 10 minutes with a side of butter because that is one hell of a lobster. She wasn't the only one that made an impression because the troll, Donald Trump, also made another impression. Donald Trump just happened to take the bait for every single thing that Hillary Clinton put out there. And if you could see, very, very early on in the debate, there was really no no holding back. It was all holds bars. Everyone was going after anyone with a microphone. It's surprising that there was this, this large audience here watching the presidential debate, and according to Lester Holt, the audience agreed to stay silent, but that didn't last very long. So now we are at the critical voting point for our country. It game to this. We have to choose between one of the biggest fucking liars in human history who looks like she is on death's fucking doorstep. She passes out. She coughs up green slugs from her throat. I kid you not. This woman is not fit to be president. But then, on the other hand, we have the choice of a giant troll. That is right, a troll. And no, this troll doesn't live under a bridge. This troll lives with his bright orange hair at the top of a tower. And it's strange because this troll happens to have the magical ability of turning everything that he touches into gold. Call it the Midas touch, but you know what? Unlike the story Story of the Midas touch, everything that this guy touches that becomes gold, becomes worth something, eventually crumbles and falls down the drain. So the question is up to you, America. Who are you voting for? Are you voting for the giant douche? Are you voting for the turd sandwich? Or are you going to write in a third possible fill-in candidate? What could a possible third fill-in candidate do? Could we single-handedly do something to change the fate of the nation? Could we possibly do something right now? to change history as it is. I don't know about you, but if I think back to my childhood, one of the most memorable presidential figures that I ever saw just happened to be the star of a little-known movie called Air Force One. Yes, that is right. I am voting Harrison Ford for President of the United States for 2016. Forget Donald Trump. Forget Hillary. We need somebody to say... Get off my plane. The whole debate was structured around the point that these two individuals were asked questions that neither of them knew a fucking response to. Neither of these candidates could form a validated fucking point used to make a well-educated decision on who you want to vote for president, and it just turned into a fucking bloodbath on national TV. And people were gathered around the country watching this and viewing parties. Children were learning about this in school, and what did children learn? I just don't understand what was NBC thinking. They have the power. They are the network. If these two jackasses on the stage 
couldn't adhere to the rules that were set and they, they agreed to beforehand, they should have just pulled the plug on the fucking thing. They should have cut to a commercial break. Somebody should have came in and said, listen, you two, you're on national fucking TV in front of every single goddamn American right now and you're trying to win the election by sounding like a pissy, whiny little 12-year-old brat? Just shut up and fucking listen to the other person speak, think in your mind what you're going to say, and then fucking shit it out. Seriously, what has this country become? What is this shit? And it's getting worse and worse every single day. And the fact that the media is stooping to this level of these presidential candidates is atrocious. Either way, somebody's going to get elected. Somebody is going to get elected, and you know what? That somebody needs to be Harrison Ford. I know Harrison Ford hasn't thrown his name in the race yet, but god damn it, that guy is one hell of an actor, and I'm sure you may not like every movie he is in, but you can agree that the guy knows what the hell he's doing. I mean, holy shit, have you seen Have you seen how he pilots an airplane? This guy is a fucking beast. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Let me know if you think that this presidential race is the craziest that there has ever been in the history of the United States of America. Also, let me know what you think. Would you write Harrison Ford's name in for president? Because I think, by God, I think this guy needs to be president. He gave us, he gave us Han Solo. He gave us Indiana Jones. He gave us the goddamn president of the United States. He gave a president that everybody could look up to in Air Force One. That is going to do it, everyone, for the Saturday evening rant. Thank you very much for watching and listening along. If you guys enjoyed the video, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. I will see you tomorrow night for the weekend vlog. Like I told you yesterday, it's going to be a little bit later of an upload. I'm aiming for about 10 o'clock now, but have no fear. It will get out there. You guys enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Thank you.